Today I'm going to show you a few of the things I like to do to make Windows 11 better. Now I know the comments are already filling up with all of you who are like, Windows 11 sucks, Windows 10 for life, and there's that guy over there who's like, Windows XP. Like it or not, Windows 11 is our current version of Windows. Windows 10 end of life is about a year from now. I'm recording this in October of 2024. I think it's October 14th, 2025 is end of life for Windows 10, meaning that you will no longer get your free security updates from Microsoft if you're still running Windows 10 at that time. So with that in mind, I personally like Windows 11 for the most part. There's some annoyances that I'm gonna show you how to fix today, but all in all, I like it. So with that in mind, let's dive in to the fixes, tweaks, whatever you want to call them, that we can apply to Windows 11 to make it better. The first one, and this was one of my biggest annoyances when I first switched to Windows 11, is the stupid context menu. I'm talking about this, where I right click on a file, this is the context menu. This is new in Windows 11. If I go down to the bottom here and click show more options, this is what it used to look like. I like this. This is easy. So here's how we fix it. Windows R regedit. This will get us into the registry editor. We're going to HK current user software classes and we're looking for CLSID. Scroll down to the C's, CLSID. You can see there's a bunch of keys in here already. We want to create a new key. So we right click on CLSID and we say new key. I'm going to leave the name of this key in the description below because it's long and I don't want you to mistype it, uh, but you can find that in the description below this video. Let's pull this over so you can see what we did here. Okay, and then within that key, we're going to create another new key. Right click, new key. Again, I'll leave the name of this one in the description. It's not quite as complex. It is in proc server 32. Okay. The last thing we need to do is we need to double click on this default value here and we need to make sure there's nothing in this value data box and sit, say okay. That clears the data column here. That's how you know you did it correctly. The last thing after we close out of registry editor is we're going to have to restart Windows Explorer. We're going to right click the taskbar, go to task manager, go to details and we're going to search for Explorer. There it is. Right. You can either click on it and click end task or right click on it and say end task and end process. And then we're going to do run new task and type explorer.exe, press enter. We have now restarted explorer. Now back to my context menu, I right click and I now have the old context menu, none of the new stuff that I don't like. All right, the next one, we're going to be modifying the taskbar to kind of make it more the way you like it. We're going to right click on the taskbar and go into taskbar settings. Now all these are personal preference. You don't have to follow what I do. I'm just showing you the settings that I like to change. So by default, you've got this search bar down here. I don't really need a search bar on down on my, on my taskbar. So I'm just going to go ahead and say hide on that. I also don't really like the task view button. I use keyboard shortcuts for task view and widgets. I don't care about. So I turn those off as well. Now, if you're coming from an earlier version of Windows, such as Windows 10, you are probably used to your start button being in the bottom left hand corner. You can do that now in Windows 11 and you don't have to keep it in the middle. What we can do is if we go down to taskbar behaviors here, you can go taskbar alignment and turn that to left. Now everything's down in the bottom left where you are used to seeing it. There's a bunch of other options you can change such as badges, flashing, all this kind of stuff, feel free to dig through here and customize your taskbar the way that you like it. Next, we're gonna disable notifications because I hate notifications. I click on the clock and date down here and go to notification settings. And what I do here is I just turn notifications off. There are more granular controls if you want to have some notifications but not others, um, setting priority notifications, turning on focus modes, turning on notifications on or off per app, you can also do. I just don't like notifications. I turn them off completely. Feel free to set this up the way you like it. And again, you can do this per application if you wish. Now we're gonna remove some of the bloatware that comes pre-installed on Windows 11. So if I click on my start button, 
you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, Spotify, Disney+, Plus, Xbox, Messenger, TikTok, blah, 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 blah. If you don't want this stuff on your computer, getting rid of it is very easy. Right click, uninstall. And we can go through and do this for whatever apps we don't want to see on here. I don't use any of these, so I'm just going to get rid of a whole bunch of them. I know I, I use these services on other devices, but I don't use them on my computer. So away they go. And you can just keep going through this until all of the apps that you don't want to see here are gone. Just make sure that you are clicking uninstall and you're not just removing them from the pinned area. You want to actually uninstall them. Okay. You can also go to all apps and go through here and uninstall things as necessary. Next, let's take a look at some power settings to uh, set up the power the way that you like it. We are going to go start, settings, system, power. Now, power settings impact your computer's performance if you're doing uh, heavy duty stuff like gaming. They also impact your system's battery life if you're on a laptop that's not plugged in all the time. So you have to keep those in mind when setting your power settings up. I'm on a desktop computer here that is used for gaming. Uh, it's, you know, it's not a laptop, so I don't care about battery life. I want to set it up for the best possible performance. Now, if this was a laptop, I would go down to power mode here and I could specify the settings based on whether it's plugged in or not. This is not a laptop. I can change when my screen turns off, when my device goes to sleep, when my device hibernates. I never use hibernate, um, only use sleep. Um, so turning your screen off is personal preference. Uh, whether you want your device to sleep or not, that's up to you. I always turn energy saver off. Again, this is a computer that I'm looking for performance on, not for battery life. If you're on a laptop or you're on battery a lot, you may want to use energy saver. This is where that setting is. If you're looking for the old power options that you would see in the older versions of Windows, hold down Windows R and type powercfg.cpl, press enter. And here's where you can kind of change your to your balanced uh, plan or your high performance plan. Again, if you're into gaming, if you're on a desktop computer that's on all the time, you definitely want high performance selected here. If you're on a laptop, you might have to kind of weigh out your options. You definitely want high performance when the device is plugged in. If you really want to dig deep, you can go change plan settings and change advanced power settings. And here is where you can choose like what, if your hard disk is going to turn off. See, I don't want my hard disk turning off, so I'm going to say zero on that. I don't want this computer sleeping. We can see here sleep is set to never. This last one you may want to look at if you do a lot of gaming. This setting can help improve your performance while you are gaming. We are going to click start, go into settings, and we're going to click gaming on the left. And we're going to go to game mode. Now you're going to find a lot of conflicting information on the internet about game mode. What it's supposed to do is turn things off in the background while you're running games to allow the game to run better. My personal experience with this is that the games run better with game mode off. I'm assuming this is because Windows is tying up CPU cycles, trying to figure out what background apps to close and all this stuff. Personally, I just close anything unnecessary before I start gaming and I keep game mode turned off. That tends to make the games run better in my personal experience. You are free to experiment with this as you wish. Maybe for you, game mode helps. To me, I recommend turning it off. I hope you enjoyed those tweaks for Windows 11. Feel free to leave your own tweaks in the comments below. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you would subscribe, click the like button, all the usual stuff. See you in the next one.